Today, we're gonna to talk about the Ford Maverick. And the news that I'm gonna be dropping is that a lot of us, and I, I say a lot of us, obviously a lot of Mavericks are getting delivered, but I'm starting to highly suspect that some of us, or a lot of us of those who are still unscheduled, that there are definitely gonna be carryovers. So that's what this whole video is gonna be about. We're gonna be talking about Marie's Maverick. So we did do a video, a previous video where we talked about, you know, recalls, F-150 Lightning, charging on electric vehicles, and really it was a big, hefty video. And I've gone off and cut off the back end of that because, you know, that was the Maverick information, which is what a lot of you are here for at Johnny's Car Care and Reviews. And, you know, the whole team here is here to help. So we're going to use Marie's Maverick as a perfect example. She is an XLT hybrid with Lux package. And we're going to be talking about in the video, we're going to be talking really what's likely going to happen to her order. Even though she's a July 17th order, there are very good chances she's getting pushed to a very early 2023. And, you know, a lot of that has to do with the hybrid because a lot of people asked for hybrid. About 70% of orders are hybrids. And at first the factory was making very few hybrids, a very small percentage. And now while it's caught up and, you know, EcoBoost and hybrid orders, while they're currently about 50-50, there's a lot of catching up to do. And there remains the fact that 70% of orders about roughly are hybrid. So that means a lot of us are going to get pushed even earlier vehicles. We're still hoping that we'll get a VIN and there's still some chances and we'll talk all about that in the video and we'll explain sort of what you can expect. But really simply put, uh, knowing, you know, how many uh, allotments per month your dealer has been previously getting, you can get a good idea because right now uh, we're hoping that we get in the upcoming allotments for the month of August and September. Well, let's say, for example, if the dealer gets some dealers might get 20, really big dealers, maybe even 30. Uh, some dealers, huge ones, the biggest ones could get more. Uh, and smaller dealers could definitely get one or two allotments. And if there's only one given out, well, that means that we'll probably get pushed aside because we actually have someone earlier than us. Uh, and that's there's one earlier than us, e than us, even if we're a July 17th. So really what's been going on is that the basically you could say the hybrid powertrain they're not making as many and they're not able to make as many of those. And I've speculated since last September, October, um, even even a little earlier than September when you know we weren't getting the EPA numbers out. And anyways, I started to speculate more and more and I've become more or less convinced that the number of uh, batteries coming into the factory isn't enough. Uh, and I think probably a lot of that has to do with Ford being very, it's, it's good, part of this is good news. Ford is very stringent and they do make sure that the batteries coming in aren't going to cause issues with fires. You know, we haven't heard of Ford in the news for the electric vehicles or the hybrid vehicles having fires. So I think that they've got really great, fantastic parameters for, you know, verifying. They've got a good system for verifying and ensure, ensuring that we do get quality batteries. Now, if you're an EcoBoost order, for example, I will get into this in the video, but if you're an EcoBoost order and let's say you ordered right, you ordered right before the cutoff. So January 27th was the cutoff. Now, if you're pretty close to that cutoff and you're not a Lux package or Copilot 360 and you haven't added on accessories like, you know, a roll up cover or a fold up cover or mud guards, there are chances that, you know, you get built just in time. But let's say if you have a spray and bed liner, very constrained, very likely you're going to get pushed. So basically this whole video is all about, you know, really getting you the information that you need to know so that you can make an informed decision because very simply put, anything you can get from the parts department or done by your dealer or the aftermarket on your Maverick, take it off your order if you don't have a VIN yet. If you do have a VIN, you're safe, but if you don't have a VIN and you're hoping to get assigned to so that you can get a 2022, well, taking off Line X would definitely be a good idea. And remember, if you have a Lux package, XLT, you can switch from that 
you know, Linex Lux package to the Lux package with the plastic drop in. It looks good. I've done accessories videos on that if you want to check that out. But that's what this video is going to be all about. So we'll be dropping some news on that. And to let you all know basically what's going on, I, I really do highly suspect that they're not getting them all built, all their orders. So if you're anywhere near those cutoff dates, the hybrid was November 15th, the EcoBoost was January 27th. If you're anywhere near those cutoff dates and you have you know, a complicated build, you could say, it's not just a standard XL or a standard XLT or a standard Lariat, you're probably getting pushed forward. And even if you do have something standard, but you're in the final month, EcoBoost, January 27th, November 15th for the hybrid. If you're in the final month and you have a simple build, I think we're going to be seeing some people getting pushed forward anyways. But what you do need to know is that you can price protect. That means if you do get pushed forward, the incredible news is you're going to get a 2023 for the price of a 2022. So your original 2022 price can be price protected and so can the interest rate, but your dealership needs to know how to do that and you might have to push and encourage them to do that a little bit because well some dealers for example you know despite ford giving all sorts of warnings and consequences you know if we think of the ford lightning i revealed in the last video that there's going to be a twenty-five thousand dollar fine for dealers for example for selling their demo model because Ford wants to avoid over MSRP. Ford is actually separating the whole business concept between the EV business side of things and the, you know, the ICE, the internal combustion engine side of things. They're separating the business so that they can at first get e the EV side. They can force dealerships to sell at MSRP because it's going to be obviously a new criteria in the new contracts. And then later on, the model for EVs will switch over to ICE. So MS forced MSRP, which is a fantastic thing for all of us, is on its way. But let's just get right into the video and you know have Marie jump in so that we can give her the news. If you want to become a member to the channel, it would greatly help out. So you can consider a membership. And either way, hitting that like button and subscribing is just fantastic. Here, let's hear from Mary. Johnny here for Johnny's Car Care and reviews with Marie and Winston off on the bed doing a toy review. This is actually the second cut because he barked in the last cut. <laughs> but today is going to be a huge day. We're talking about a lot of really important information. So we will, of course, talk Ford Maverick. And we're going to be talking about Ford Maverick recalls and a little bit about Ford Maverick building, scheduling, and really what's up with your Ford Maverick. So it makes a lot of sense that Marie is here because she is a Ford Maverick hybrid Lux orderer. And I've got some news to drop for her tonight. Uh, I'm not sure if she knows it yet, but I'm gonna be dropping some news for her here on the video, but he's off doing his toy review now digging at the bed, meaning he really <laughs> does like that toy quite a bit. But this isn't a dog channel, this is a car channel. So right back to the car news. Uh, we're also gonna be talking about recalls. I mentioned, you know, we'll talk about recalls on the pedal to the metal. Get right into it. With on the show, I did mention that we, my local dealer basically once, and I wanna clarify this and put it clearly, but once, the, not all the allotments that they've received have been given out in VINs. We have a few and I couldn't get an exact number. It's probably about, I'm having a feeling based on what I've seen in previous months, there's probably somewhere between two to four allotments, well, allotments left to get VINs. But how they get it is they get allotments in advance saying, well, for you know this month coming up, you're gonna get this many. But once our current unused allotments are used up, well, the local dealer is probably going to have, they were warned that it'd be possibly one. And you know, that kind of makes sense because if you think of July having, you know, 2,500 new VINs get assigned for the Maverick, there's 3,300 dealerships. So a lot of dealerships might not get an allotment for the month of July. And then what's left? August and September. Who knows what they're gonna do for August and September, but I have a feeling that we're gonna get one more allotment or maybe two across the months of August and September. So pretty much if in the next three weeks we don't get a VIN, 
our chances go to almost none because currently there actually is one order older than ours even though we're at July 17th. So that kind of hurts, but more Maverick info in just a moment. Lucky I'm patient. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are patient. You waited quite some time for your plug-in escape and I speculated back with the plug-in escape. I was telling her, you know what, Ford won't put it out until the battery is perfect. And they're not going to say this is, you know, we're waiting for better batteries or, you know, the batteries we're getting aren't good enough. They're not going to say that kind of thing. So that's what I speculated and I'm still highly suspecting that. But what I do... Yeah, you said before that, oh, you can cancel the, the order for the Escape. I guess the Maverick will uh, arrive first. <laughs> I'm still waiting. It was uh, November. Yes, but I did try to discourage you against taking heated seats and he heated steering wheel. I said last summer, well, you know, hon, that's a lot of microchips. It could make for a bit longer of a delay. And what I really should have said is it could make for an extremely long delay because here are the numbers on the Maverick. Mm -hmm. So if you've been watching here, this, this is must know information. The Maverick, you know, we have a day one order from our friend Tristan. Well, his was an EcoBoost all-wheel drive 4K with the plastic bed liner. And he got his in mid-March. He got passed by all sorts of people that were just, you know, FX4, FX4, for example. He even got passed by some luxury packages. Well, now there's a recall. So uh, recall, basically the dates, I'm gonna want, I wanna get this right, so I'm gonna look it right up. We've got February, February 3rd, 2021 to February 22nd, 2022. Well, if you were built between basically that one year period on a 4K, there's possibility that your brake controller, you're just not gonna have brakes on your trailer. So that's kind of a big deal not having brakes on the controller because that has to do with stability control. It also just has to do with brake break time. So I think with his order, they probably, you know, they knew there was a problem, it needed to be fixed. So they just kept pushing them along and saying, we don't have the solution right now. So let's build Mavericks. We can build because the factory, everyone wants to work. Everyone's got to work and the factory wants to put out Mavericks. So if they can't currently build one type of Maverick, well, they'll pass on to another type of Maverick, meaning some people could jump ahead. Yeah. So that's kind of, that's, in, that's kind of big news, but for more recall news, you know, whether you know this or not, but there is also for the spray and bed liner. Uh, which you originally had, which just recently I put you onto the plastic bed liner. So I changed the code from a 54L to a 54B, if I recall correctly, but you're gonna have a plastic bed liner. So I hope you like it. It's got a nice little- I would like to have the spray in bed liner, but that's fine anyway. Uh, as we know us, we won't keep it that much longer than Maverick. So it's not a big deal if I only have a, a plastic bed liner. Well, I'm happy that you're letting me off the hook easily uh so thank you but if you would have had a spray in bed liner you know that will be built <laughs> <laughs> no 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 no. You, you were definitely were not getting built okay. the spray in bed liner wasn't helping but you might have actually had your uh this i think this mostly affects ecoboost but you might have had your gas tank drilled into so the, it needs something that needs to get verified so there's a recall for that now what do you do oh, no if you're wondering do i have a recall for either the 4K towing or, you know, you have a spray in bed liner and you're wondering, am I going to leak gas? Well, one, you might see that you're leaking gas in your yard, but Ford will contact you, not just Ford, but also the dealership. They want to get that done because the Explorer can roll forward. Now, this is something every vehicle should actually do. Ford's solution is to reprogram the vehicle so that when you put it in park, the handbrake's automatically going to go on. And I don't see why that isn't standard. And now really... Well, Marie, you've got a lot of experience on waiting on a vehicle. <laughs> so um, I'm going to share we with the group. We can say that like that. You could, we could say it like that. I'm going to share with the group what people in your situation that buy Fords regularly, or just if you're thinking of buying a Ford, or if you're waiting for a Ford, what to do. So if you are waiting for a Ford, really simply put, make sure to get a purchase order from your dealership, get them to sign what price and what interest they're gonna give it to you. And because of price protection, it doesn't cost them anything to give you the price the month you ordered. Now, if you've ordered a vehicle, you could say that they tell you is sold out for the year. For example, you know, a Bronco and soon an F-150, buy your F-150, likely, 
This is probably the last month. At, if you're real, we're real lucky, maybe June as well, but soon the F-150 will also be sold out. So if the vehicle is sold out, get them to sign and promise that they're gonna sell you for at the first available 2023 MSRP and the interest rate that shows up on the internet. They can write that down and sign it. And if the vehicle currently isn't sold out, well, a purchase offer gives the you know make and model, your name, dealership name, the price, the interest rate, and the monthly, so or bi-weekly payment, so they can sign off on that. Now, if you're, you've are you been waiting on a Maverick and you're kind of wondering what's going on, what kind of delays uh, you know, have been pretty common. So my local dealership is what you could say is a medium-sized dealership, you know, globally, uh, across the 3,300 dealerships across uh, Canada and the US. And here's one good example, an EcoBoost with 4K and FX4 and all-wheel drive, if ever that thing wasn't taken by um, another customer, you as a customer, it'd be awesome if maybe you got that. But I'm thinking, I'm hoping one way or another, we're not that far away from the hybrid, and I do think the hybrid is an amazing machine. But FX4, great looking mags, great looking Yeah, you screen. wanted me to take one. I wanted you to take one, but had you ordered that December 8th, 2021, mm -hmm. it would have then arrived May 6th. So basically five months to turn over from your order to arrival, if you'd have gotten FX4, and I'm telling you, if ever you get a chance to get one, or heck, who knows, maybe I'd get a Ma uh, an all-wheel drive FX4 Maverick and do my light off-roading with that. But that takes f uh, five months, has taken five months. Now, a Lariat Luxury EcoBoost, all-wheel drive. Well, I've got one that was ordered, I, I've got my eyes on one that was ordered October 30th, mm -hmm. and time to arrive, seven months, because it should arrive right at the very end of the month, or the first week of June. So basically, very simple, seven months for a Lariat Luxury. Of course, that's all-wheel drive EcoBoost. So the bad news is the worst, the longest wait time is exactly what you picked. And you know, I kind of worried, was worried in advance and said, well, you know, hybrid, I expect it to maybe take a little longer. Ford likes to make sure that all the batteries are perfect mm -hmm. and batteries globally are just constrained. And then I said, you know, extra microchips for... For the Lux package. For the yeah. Lux package. <laughs> and... And at the same time, before all the microchip thing and the COVID, ordering a car with a Lux package or something equivalent to that was not a big deal. But now it's the, the new situation. And yeah. it's the first time I order a, a brand new car. <laughs> and it was not the right timing, I guess. But my, yeah, and that's unfortunate. It is the first time you order a brand new car and mm -hmm. it has not been, it's been a bit of a long wait. Thankfully, you're patient and you have test driven oh, the vehicle. I have so. the Bronco, so I'm so patient. <laughs> <laughs> yes. When I won't have it and I will need to go uh, to work uh, walking with my feet or going with a taxi, it will be a different thing. <laughs> so in the future, I guess, if I say, if I warn you and say, well, you know what? I think this might take longer. Mm -hmm. And I even mentioned that Line X, that there was a global supply issue with Line Linex, even right now, sorry, not Linex, but um, spray and bed liner. And even now locally, they're going to be out for two weeks. So there is a serious, you know, huge news. Linex is still extremely constrained globally, not just at Ford. A local business, not Ford business, is going to have to, you know, not do any spray and bed liner jobs for two weeks because they're just out of product. So I guess in the future, um, I've been really good and lucky with my speculations because they pretty much, mo I, I, well, almost 99% of the time spot on because I Not also yeah. <laughs> speculated that there's something going on with the 4K. I thought maybe it had to do with the stability control programming or whatnot or lack of microchips. Well, in the end, it probably was the recall and, you know, them not wanting to put out 4K Mavericks that don't actually break your trailer. So obviously Ford doesn't want to cause accidents and recalls are a good thing. I absolutely, you know, mm -hmm. I've ranted and turned red in the face with, you know, talking about this with you before. I'm, I loathe how some, you know, journalists will put out like, oh, another recall at Ford and present a company that does recalls as, you know, a bad company. Uh, I think but that's clickbait. Time. Correct me if I'm wrong, but each make and model has recalls. Yes and no. Some people would prefer to hide their problems oh. and wait to get sued and then just pay people under the table for whatever damage gets caused because that sometimes costs a whole lot. Le that usually actually costs, historically, that has often cost less just paying off 
for the the damage that you cause to people than to actually mm. acknowledge that there's a problem and then do a recall across you know lots and lots of units so there is actually famous cases of manufacturers doing this uh, really upsetting the the U.S. federal government to the point of getting you know two major fines at the highest amount. Um, but I'm thinking of a situation with uh, key fobs, keys in ignitions, and keys being too heavy, causing a loss of ignition, a loss mm. of you know power steering and brakes when you're driving on the highway. Well, some companies prefer to just say, oh well, we'll pay it. We'll pay people when they have their their accidents if they sue us. So I think recalls are a great thing. That's got about you know I think as adults or as companies, the right thing to do when you've made a mistake is to say, hey, we're sorry, we've made a mistake. I'm going to work to correct it now. So that's what I have to say about recalls. For our security is best. Yes, Even absolutely. Even if it's a little recall, yeah, they, they're good to, to do that because everybody will know the information if they do a recall for little things, but that and, that's beautiful of them that they they are and, able to do yeah. that and <laughs> ford doesn't want to put out a product when they know there's a problem so i think that's mm -hmm. definitely what happened with tristan's 4k tow maverick <laughs> he, you know he was a day one he had pretty simple non-lux xlt so we all thought he'd get his build within about four months and well mm -hmm. it went from when he ordered and then he got it um about around the 20th of march so if you haven't seen that uh, video we actually test drove i test drove tristan's ecoboost all-wheel drive 4k maverick and i test drove it actually pretty hard in the corners made his tires squeal and he still hasn't told me what i owe him but i just want to make sure that the community <laughs> here really gets to see what the maverick can do because i think it handles fantastically it turns great we really like the maverick You've got one small reservation on the interior. That's your little point. You know, we like the seats. They're super comfortable, but you called it, you know, kind of thermos plastic on yeah, the dash. Yeah, the design <laughs> of the material, I'm not sure about that, but... But you got to give them points. They could have just played it easy and lazy and just had, you know, flat plastic, but they put all those, like, angles into it. That's a little bit of extra work, a little extra cost. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they did work to but put... You know what? When we, uh, we tried the Santa Cruz from Hyundai... Uh, the exterior, I wasn't sure. The interior, I was like, wow, it's yeah. comfortable, it's beautiful. But at the same time, what people will see, will see the exterior of the car. So I prefer to have a Maverick because the exterior is so wow, look like an F-150, but smaller. Uh, and, and that's the thing that I will, I don't know, I will remember more yeah. the exterior. So... That's fine like that. And we're also the type of couple that, you know, we'll be working out in the gardens outside and we'll just look at our vehicles and kind of stare at them for a minute or two and be like, yeah, I like this. I like that. And m m me more than you, but just the same <laughs> when you come out and you see your vehicle and you go, wow, well, that's what sticks in your head. You know, I never stop and think like, oh, wow, the interior of such and such a vehicle really, you know, gets, mm. you know, it's not what we remember. We remember the outside. So... On that note, we're going to close up the show and say that if you want to become a member, um, it really helps us out. So we're doing this because the assistance will help us out if you become a member to the channel once that option is available. But we also kind of want to do these little lives just for our our members and I think it's also cool to be able to track you know who's been a member for a really long time it, it'll highlight in the in the conversations when we do a premiere and a live and we've really appreciated the community's help not just the incredible intel you know some people come back on a weekly basis and drop really great intel some people drop a lot of support and encouragement which it has helped me continue the channel and at the same time, it helps us to know uh, what people like to talk yeah. about, which model of uh, Ford. So, yeah. yeah. We'd like to start communicating <laughs> with the lives. Also, part of it is we really, really want to just be able to communicate directly. Marie checking out the comments coming in. And of course, it will help us have, you know, more cars and more power for the channel because we'd love to have more cars and do mod modifications. We've got a Toyota MR2 93 coming onto the channel, which was my old when we very, our very, when we first met, when we were just kiddies. I never went in that car, so now I will have the chance to uh, to have a drive in it. <laughs> yeah, so there's, there's a story behind that. There's also a story about what happened to me last week with the pool, and that's a bit of a wild story. So for you know more private stories and also more deep 
you know, the deep down dirty intel, you'll want to be a member. Thank you so much for watching. Have an absolute great week. Take care. Bye. So if you want to help us out, subscribe and so consider becoming this? a member. It's a um, detangling strip. Yes, because when you subscribe, you help maintain the lifestyle of a poodle. These are fancy little dogs. <laughs> Used to have a German Shepherd, and I don't know how Marie talked me into this one, but we've been having a blast. So they're fancy dogs, and you help feed and dress that poodle as well as, of course, as bathe these fancy little dogs. Thank you so much for all the positivity you've thrown us our way, friends. Take care, and you know, don't forget to just, you know, keep on trucking.